game highlights. Start of the game pa lang, first quarter. Aba, 17 to run ang binitawan ng Barangay Nevra. Anong San Miguel Beerman, rather. They were running away with that first quarter, Eric. Well, napakaganda naman kasi talaga ng nilaro dito ng San Miguel. They really started out very well. Sinabi nga ni Chris Ross that they really want to jump the gun on Barangay Nevra and get, you know, at least a good size lead and to take the, way, take, uh, the crowd out of the game. 35-12 was the score at the end of the quarter number one. Second quarter, more of the same story, Coach Norman. Well, Alex Kabugnot really dominated that first quarter, but the bench started to really click for San Miguel in the second quarter as Ronald Tupin came off and hit a couple of threes. Gabby Espinas was very, very tough inside. He never was able to force a few turnovers towards the end of that quarter to get some easy baskets to try to get back into the game, at least the semblance is trying to get back into the game. It was a 21-point game at the half, but the start of the third quarter, that broke the back of Barangay Nebra. San Miguel never let off the gas pedal. They just kept coming on the run, pounding it inside, and shooting from the outside. Well, that's, that's a good thing about um, San Miguel, because even if they were leading by a big margin, they still pushed the ball hard, and they played great defense all around. End of the game. More Gabby Espinas, power play underneath. He ended his game with a big 16-point performance. And he just took every defender to school down at the block. Yes, the fourth quarter was the Gabby Espinas show as he put on a low post clinic. And San Miguel wins this game 109 to 82 over Hinebra. Let's break down the numbers, and it should favor all San Miguel. It's clearly seen in the shooting. When you talk about uh, field goal shooting, San Miguel really shot the lights out. But, you know, I was also looking at the free throws. San Miguel was aggressively going to the basket a lot, and they got fouled, and they got more free throws as well. But, you know, it's really about field goal shooting today. San Miguel really shot the ball very well, but you really have to give it to Hinebra. They will definitely bounce back in the next game. If there's one thing Coach Tim Cone's not going to be happy with, this is 24 fast break points for San Miguel. The worst you can do is get back on defense and play defense, so I'm sure he's going to talk to his players about that.